Hey guys, I'm back with yet a different planner. <laughs> um, and apologies in advance, I'm holding the um, camera phone on the tripod with my other hand, so this is gonna be uh, a one-handed video. I might be a little shaky. Um, so yeah, I know this year is just not um, good as far as consistency, but um, I got this Moterm standard that I used last year. When did I start planning? It was 2020. So I think between 2020 and 2021, um, there was a bit of a, a break with using my planner when I moved and had like some uh, anxiety kind of come back and then I just stopped planning for a while. Um, but this I used for, I think about six months, um, straight, which is kind of, kind of like a record for, um, for me. And just one sec, I actually forgot there were some things I wanted to get. So hold on. Okay. So, um, yeah, standard is like the longest I've been in, in anything. Um, it started in March of 2020 with this, is was a, a moleskin classic that I cut down to a, not a five, that I cut down to standard size. Um, really inspired by um, Monique Smith, Arisen You on YouTube, and I think Jesus and Paper on Instagram. Um, and so this is kind of where it all started. Um, lots of dailies. I think at the time I started this, I was using a happy planner, which I'm not currently using. Um, so there was this, and then I got into, uh, I think ink imperfections after I found, um, Monique's videos. So then I filled up some of these. I think this one's upside down. And I did unstaple these. That's why they're loose. Cause I kind of was like trying to save save the extra papers um and then this one my daughter spilled water on um but you know it's still good so um kind of with all the craziness of switching planners a bunch i was just like okay like, i'm tired of switching planners um i do really enjoy my a6 tan but there's also just parts of it that i feel like I'm missing um and I think it might be because it's the um Hobonichi Techo so it's not as um flexible a system as this kind of is so yeah all that to say um I got this out I thought I would must sell it and then it just <laughs> I thought you know what I have inserts already so this would be like a really like low investment um, kind of option to try um, because I kind of have lots of things on hand already. So I set this up and um, and here I'm so I'm I've got uh, a chic sparrow. Um, standard, I think they call it narrow, um, deluxe. So it's got the three pockets that go this way. And it's, I got it on Macari and I had sold, um, I think like four different planner things on there. So basically the planner was free, which was really, really cool. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't have to spend any of like, it was all kind of from my Macari, Macari seller's balance. Cause this, it's actually, I really like it kind of getting into this and using it, but it's also just kind of big in this back pocket, like in here, it's just, um, like I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm going to put too much stuff in it and then it'd be too big to carry. Um, so to start, I've got this sort of pocket card holder zip file thing from Amazon. And this is a paper test design freebie for May. This is a journaling card from Journaling Home. And then 
inside. I've got a dentist card, some stickers. This is from Maria Bermucci. And, and this is just some scrapbook paper around my monthly insert. Um, and so this is from SM Plans. And I think this was the Hobonichi week size that I had gotten for my weeks over there. Um, and I just printed it, I think it was like one one ten percent scale and um it's kind of perfect i haven't decided what to do with this yet so i haven't like stuck it anywhere um this is a freebie from fox and pip and so this is my monthly um it's an annie plans printable but i printed it on moleskin paper so what i did was i took um an a5 dot grid notebook that i have and then just kind of like unclipped the um the strings and then printed it onto uh what was essentially eight eight by ten paper and it was kind of perfect because the fold was there and it just like everything nestled in nicely so i'd originally printed this on just regular printer paper but it is um too too thick so i wanted something a little bit lighter i do like moleskin paper uh, I do wish it was white, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, and so then here's the back of the cardstock, and I measured wrong, so I had to like tape a piece so that it fit the, the length. And here's the back of the um, card folders at pouch thing. I've just got some stickers, um, more paper Tesco paper, this that I made. Um, and this is an insert from Annie Plans Printables. Which is, it's funny because I've, like, all the systems I've been in, so my Hobonichi Weeks, I was in the personal rings for, like, a day. <laughs> really, guys, it was a day. Um, my A6 TN, my Pocket TN. I thought, you know, I should get one of these kids, kind of kid info um, inserts. And it has, like, school info, doctor's visits, and then there's a temperature log. And I thought, you know what, my kid had COVID in January, like, I'm not going to need this. And then sure enough, he got sick a couple days ago um, with a fever. <laughs> and that was kind of it. Uh, he said he was achy and then and then it went away. So uh, this is a uh, kind of like a thank you little postcard from Martina Thornhill. And she does all of these beautiful mugs that I have. Um, I'm sort of obsessed. So uh, I have quite a few of her um, ceramics. So this is now my weekly. Um, I've got the sticky note that I made to track online orders. This is a week on two page from, uh, is this? Yep, this is Annie Plans printables. Um, I haven't back planned entirely, but let's see. Last week, so last week is kind of um, basing this on how I used my moleskin. So the line down here, um, also my weeks too. On the left, I have stuff for my kids that I need to remember, appointments, events, to-dos. And then on the right is stuff for me. Um, the weekends are usually free because obviously the kids don't have school. Um, then this was just like my to-do. Um, it's a bit more filled out this week. Um, and then I printed this on Rhodia paper. <laughs> Again, um, not really a fan of just the regular printer paper that I have. I have a few different like weights, but um, they're just not as, they're just kind of heavy. Um, and so this was a Rhodia Again, A5 notebook that I took the staples out. It was a staple bound one um, and uh, printed on that. And so it worked out kind of perfect. Um, and these stickers are from, uh, what is it, Planner Kate? Oh my gosh, so cute. I think I need some more. Uh, and so yeah, it's kind of what I'm doing. I'm using this like I would have used my Wenichi Weeks or my Moleskin. And then, um, let's see what's in the back. On this is um, my kind of daily bullet journal that's replacing these um, paper penguin co ones that are full. These I got um, 
they're brown inside. This is from Toroku Designs. I know they're on Etsy. I actually got these on Amazon. So it was a two pack of Tomo River Paper Dot Grid. Um, I am finding it's a bit of a thicker weight. Like these don't feel as light as these ones like this. I mean, yeah, this seems like, see that one? Nice. And this, it's just like a smidge heavier, I think. Maybe it's just because it's new uh, and not so lived in. But um, yeah, so this is a journaling card from Journaling Home. I finally bought uh, one of her journaling kits and I'm really excited because it's actually allowing me to journal just a little bit every day. Um, so this is some vellum that I put some stickers down. I was ex and think this is like a, a Dakshina thing, a stationary stockpile or something. Um, I saw something similar from uh, Xylene Plans, one of her YouTube flips, and I just thought it was pretty, so I did one myself. Um, I was gonna print like the May vellum cover, and I still might, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, oh, just kidding, I did. <laughs> This is a beautiful picture that my uh, friend actually took on her phone. She's a really nice uh, photographer and I just printed it on copy paper so it's not like the best quality. Um, this is from Paper Test Designs. I have, um, I tipped in some paper for my kind of April journaling reflect reflection review. I'd forgotten to write it. Um, and I didn't want the writing kind of underneath the vellum. And then we've got May. Um, this will be for my tasks. I just haven't done it yet. These are my journaling prompts from Journaling Home. I'm hoping one page is enough for the week, but uh, we'll see. And then they go into my daily logs. And I started kind of in the system on Sunday. And so like the Friday and the weekend is in here. I just didn't copy any of it over. Um, I was using the Pilot Juice, which I used a lot last um, time I was in this, and I really like it, but I'm also, I've got my um, Amazon, I think it's Hong Dion, uh, fountain pen, and extra fine nib, and I just inked it up with um, Diamine Dark Forest, I think is what it's called. It's a pretty green, and green is my favorite color. So yeah, um, there's the back of that uh, Taroku Designs insert that my washi tape's not sticking to. This is um, kind of like a dashboard, but it was actually uh, an A5 Hobonichi cover. I think it was like a Midori cover that I had on my Hobonichi cousin. And so I just kind of slit the back down the spine, cut off a little bit and then duct tape it so that it fit a uh, standard size. Um, so in here I have more journaling home. This is from um, oh, what's Sad Little Acorn. I think she used to be Z Darling. Um, I think that's just cute. I wish she had dark hair, but you know, I have a cat. I like to read, drink coffee, just, it was cute. Um, and then this, I made this insert. Um, I had ordered some Tomoe River paper on Amazon and um, used it to print some things. And then it's got dot grid already on, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, that might be a blank side. Oh no, it's so faint. There it is. So you could see the dot grid. Um, that I just thought, you know what? It just kind of works. And then on the side that's blank, you could see the dot grid underneath. So it's still easy to sort of, sort of keep a straight line. Um, and so I've got just this is sort of just like my long-term list I guess so I have goals I haven't written them down I do have them I'm leaving blank pages every now and then just so that I have room if I want to add anything um, I've got my cycle tracker uh, health log for each month I do like them kind of drawn out monthly and then that's just the space for the rest of the health logs um, this again I saw from Xylene plans where she kind of it's like, do I need this? Um, and I am trying, trying a planner no spend for May. Um, four days in, I think I've bought something two of the days. <laughs> Nothing big, but still, 
little things add up. Um, this actually had a, a what was it? A coupon code from the Facebook group. Uh, so this was just the shipping, which was nice. And so then I've got a wish list again. So if I feel like I want something, uh, add it here. Oftentimes I find as the time goes on, I don't really need or want the thing that I thought I did. Uh, cleaning log for the months of the year. So this is like monthly tasks that I would have had on my um, monthly tracker from Ink Imperfections um, or Paper and Cats, but the Ink Imperfections kind of one. And so I'm using this. I set up one for weeklies. Uh, I didn't fit all the weeks. It, I counted the lines and it, it could, I just didn't space it well. Um, so then weekly cleaning tasks, starting from kind of where we are, not the full 52 weeks. Um, bills, bill tracker, gratitude that I've started. And then that's where this is at. I think that's everything. This is just some notes for things I wanted to do in my planner. And then in the back, I've got craft folder, um, some stickers. This is my monthly plan from SM Plans. I haven't decided if I want to put that in. Here's my goals. I haven't decided what to do with that. This is um, do Peanuts Planner Co. Kind of like a perpetual calendar thing. I'm going to use it to track my work leave that I use. Um, depending, I might have a, a work planner set up coming soon. This is a cover of a card my friend sent me. I just thought it was really pretty, so I stuck it in there. And then here's the back of that um, dashboard. And so that's what's going on. I will probably post another video when I get my Chic Sparrow um, cover and kind of set that up and with you guys. But this is this and I'm kind of, you know, I'm happy. It's not terribly thick either. I think what makes it feel so thick is this back. So I'm hoping that once my Chic Sparrow cover gets here that it'll be um, more compact. And this does fit in my purse, so that's good. But yeah, let me know what you think. Hopefully this one sticks a while. Thanks for watching. Bye.